into electronics cycles. So I was just uh, getting ready to get back uh, on the road here. I was checking out this awesome tree. Just double checking here to make sure that there's no bikers coming. And uh, I, I purposely pointing the camera back so you can see there's no bikers. Let's take a look at the front, nothing going on here either. I'm just, uh, the reason why I got the camera there or the phone is to, uh, I'm trying to gauge my speed. So, which actually came in, really came in handy for this video. So, We'll start to see in a minute here some some guys approaching. Here they are. So you see this guy is coming up right behind me, and clearly he's clearly he's looking right at me here, and he's almost thinking, "Look, I'm going to cut you off, buddy." And I don't know, I don't know what his intentions are here. What do you think? Uh, this guy is nuts. I was. I was really upset at that moment. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Uh, I was just just being chill, but I was like, "Wow, this guy is absolutely bonkers." There's no room for error in a situation like this. So keep watching to the end of the video because I actually end up catching up to him. So please stay tuned to the very end, and you'll see what happens at the end. So let me know what you think. Did you do you do you think that what he did was aggressive and dangerous? Comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, um, everyone might have a different opinion on this. You know, maybe he was just having fun. But the thing is, I had a broken. I had dropped my. Um, I, I dropped my helmet um, just not too long before this, and I broke. The, my helmet mirror so it broke off it wasn't I couldn't see it behind me so what if I decided I love to carve you know I what if I decided to just carve at that minute which I normally won't you know unless I kind of know what's going on around me I try I try and you know use the unicycle like like a vehicle like a transportation but it is it is a lot of fun and it's so tempting not to just carve out once in a while if you're an avid electric unicycle rider you will know what I mean I'm not sure this guy's I'm not sure what happened there I didn't I wasn't quite sure what he was that guy was doing I'm looking behind me making sure no one's coming so the cyclist is booking it up there he's I want to know what bike he has I, I want one of those bikes it seems like that bike is finely tuned for speed I actually really want to get into uh, cycling. These guys really inspire me, to be honest. And uh, you know, because the the electronic unicycle is all good, but it's not it's not a substitution for for cycling. Cycling is awesome. I currently my problem right now is my bike is you know stolen and um, another bike I have in my storage. So it's just a it's you know. I, I thought he was like throwing up trash or littering. I'm like, did I just, did I just catch this jerk throwing up trash? And then here he is looking at me. Oh, that guy. Oops. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just rode right by him. He might have noticed that. Yeah, I have a 360 camera. I don't know. I don't think he noticed because here he is catching up to me again. And you'll see. Watch this. He's going to like, he's going to like nod his head, like trying to pass me again. Here, look at. Here he goes, eh, eh, try and pass him again. <laughs> I had, look at, <laughs> he's like, oh, not again. He, I had no idea this was going on behind me, no idea. This is a 360 camera I'm using right now, so I can, I just changed my point of view. I, I can make this a, like a full 360 video, but I'm having issues with the plugin. It's like crashing, it's crashing my uh, video editor, so. But anyway, he's, he's long gone after that. <laughs> I, I don't think people realize how fast these electronic unicycles go and how dangerous it is. 
Um, this machine that we're using is a lot more dangerous than people realize. So, you know, I respect it, but other people don't, right? So we always have to sort of be on the lookout for everyone else. Anyway, this is beautiful Vancouver, Canada. Check it out. We have palm trees up here on the Pacific, right here by the ocean. We do have, look at that, palm trees. I love it. I love tropical places. It's not. This is not a tropical place, but I love the palm trees. It reminds me of um, Florida and the Caribbean and all that stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, oh, there's some Canadian flags there. And I think those are Ukrainian flags. I'm not sure what's around there. But anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below and help support my new channel. All right, peace out. Welcome to Electronics Cycles.